hey guys happy new year long time no see i know i haven't made a new video in so long but i'm back hopefully um making videos so if you're new here my name is alexis lachelle and my page is really like involved with just like my the guy that i'm dating and he has kids and we have like this whole blended family thing we've been together for two years now so you guys pretty much know me from that information just kind of like giving you guys life updates about how it is dating a man with kids because i don't have kids and all of that good stuff so today's video will be kind of like a little life update so it is january the 13th i believe and i just kind of wanted to sit down and just reflect because i've been going through so much that is crazy right so anyways we hit two years on november 19th we went to um what did we do for our anniversary? I can't even really remember. Because we went to Mexico. But we did something else for our anniversary too. I can't remember. But anyway. We, we made two years. And like in 2021, it just was like a real rough year for me. I had to cut a lot of people off. You know, just for some circumstances that I went through that I can't really speak about. But it's really got me going. Like it really got me in my feelings. It really got me like... You know, like I just turned 30 on December 7th. And I'm really just ready to like manifest all the things that i've been wanting like i don't i'm from detroit i hate it here y'all like it's so crazy because i went to school in atlanta and i lived in atlanta for four years and people thought i was so crazy because i moved back home but i used to be so homesick i used to love being home because i had so many friends and i had good you know a good time with the friends that i had but then you outgrow people and you outgrow your city sometimes too so now i'm just like at a point where i just don't want to live here anymore but, the, but at the same time, my boyfriend is here. He has children. So it's like, you know, I'm really stuck because it's like, okay, he's been working his job 15 years. You know, you kind of just don't want to uproot somebody who's comfortable. Like, he's not really wanting to move out of town as much as I am. So it's like I'm stuck with not knowing what I want to do. Because at the end of the day, I'm over here, I'm like, I only get one life. You know what I'm saying? I really want to move. I really want to do the things that makes me happy but then I do have a relationship that I have to consider but it's like so what do you do at that like I don't know like I don't know I'm really struggling with just trying to become the best version of me because I've been in therapy now for um a little over a year and I'm really finding myself like my traumas I've spoke them out I've told my parent the things that I went through that she's never known. Um, so it's like making me like evolve into this like superwoman. Like I feel really great about myself if that makes sense. Because I don't have these burdens following me anymore. So like I don't want anything tearing me down. And I think the biggest thing that's tearing me down right now is living in this city. And it's so crazy. Like if I could just talk about the things that I've been through last year alone. Real recent. It's just like. People just don't be for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they will be malicious. They have malicious intent. Anything to see you not prosper, they will do it. You hear me? And I'm just, like, over being around people like that. I really just want to be around like-minded people. People who are just like me. Ambitious. Educated. You know, just like a bunch of things. Not saying that you have to have an education to be smart or you know witty or whatever i just really want to be around people like me regardless of their education status or all of that but i am really really ready like i said i just turned 30 and i just envision myself just being a little bit different and honestly like and i'll be very transparent and y'all know i always give y'all transparency like you don't as a woman i didn't think i would end up with a man with kids like come on now, i don't have kids like i wouldn't think that that would be something I would do and here I am you know in this situation and it's like you know what do you do what do y'all think what would y'all do let me say that what would y'all do if y'all were in my shoes you're like trying to manifest this this good life for yourself you have a good relationship but at the same token you know your heart is not in this state and city some people will say I guess if well if he's if it's worth it you he'll come with you but then again, I can't just like force that on somebody. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm really, I'm really, really, really struggling. To be honest, I started my doormat business and it's doing so good. I feel like it would do even better out of state. You know what I'm saying? 
I feel like, like, it's so crazy because, like, this gonna sound real crazy, but I want to take content creation to the next level. So I just want, like, the aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want the aesthetic of, like, just living in black girl luxury. Y'all know black girl luxury TikTok. Like, I, it's nothing luxury about Detroit. Like, how can I live black girl luxury in Detroit? It's no way possible to me. If you live in black girl luxury in Detroit, then that's good for you. But not for me. So I just want to, you know, be super, like, just, ugh. Everything that I just want, like, it's just not here in the city. And then, at the same token, like, relationships are not perfect. And I'm struggling in that area, too. So, if y'all know me, y'all know I be giving y'all all the facts. Like, sometimes I just be waking up like, what did I get myself into? Like, I'm really living in a house with a man and two kids. Like, get up. But at the same time, it's my life. And, I, you know, I love it to this fullest extent. But, like, sometimes it be like, I be looking at these kids like... Get smart with me one more time, and there's gonna be a problem. It's like, no, they don't really get smart, but huh, I wish y'all could just feel how I'm feeling on the inside. And that's why I just came to sit down and talk to y'all about just how I'm feeling. Because I just think I should just go for it. Like, I should just do what the hell makes me happy. And I just feel like if my relationship is worth it, he will come later on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have to rush and go down there and together, uproot his life, his kids. He got to go to court and all that good stuff. No, I think that I should go and start my life off with how I envision and how I manifest it to be. And then if it's meant for us to work out, we will come back together at some point. And I think that's just like the honest to God truth. Like... That's how I'm feeling. And a lot of people gonna think I'm crazy, but that's exactly how I'm feeling. They're like, you gonna leave your man? I mean, sometimes you just, you just gotta do, you gotta just jump out the window and do what's best for you. Uh, we are not perfect. Y'all know I talk about 24 seven, how we met and on the third day, we've been living together since then. Like basically he spent the night one day and we just never separated ever since then. So we had to get to know each other in the process of getting to know each other. <laughs> like to make, if that makes sense. So like sometimes we just like stuff that you didn't know about a person just comes up and you try to work through it. And we've been doing pretty good for the two years that we've been together. And I will say that because most people would have folded, especially meeting him directly before a pandemic. Like we've been in the house together for two years and it has been a struggle, but we're, we're making it through. We're getting through things. But some stuff is just harder than other things. And now I just be like, oh my God, I see what people mean when they say like relationships are hard work. Like, it's work. Nothing on this earth gonna be perfect. Like, Jesus Christ. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard though. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess I'm just gonna do a lot of praying. A lot of soul searching. A lot of just figuring this shit out, y'all. Because... I just, like I said, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm going to say it. I'm not happy. I wake up and I, I'm just agitated with, like, everything. Like, my job. You know, just living here in this um, townhouse. It's like everything is going wrong with it. Like, um, by that being the pandemic, nobody's able to come out and fix things. So, it's like you got to look at, like, a sore thumb sticking out every single day. Because there's nobody to come fix, like, the issues that we're having. I want to move. He kind of, like, don't want to move. He different than me. Like, well, this stuff don't bother me, but it's bothering me. And it's like, I just want to be all around happy. Like, my one of my biggest things is, like, to never settle. You know me? Like, from back when I used to vlog, I used to say, single before settling or just never settle for anything. And that's just the way I move, in through, like, through life in general. Relationships, friendships, um, apartments, jobs. Like, I don't care. Like, I want out. If I'm not happy in it, I want out. And that's just where I'm at. Like, I don't want to live here no more, y'all. Like, I just want to go to my dream city and live the life that I know I was made to live. So, that's my dilemma right now, y'all. <clears throat> I am not happy. I'm happy in a lot of aspects of, like, and don't get me wrong. Let me say this disclaimer. I am very grateful. I am very humble. Because this platform of TikTok, YouTube, etc. has blessed me so much in my business. Like... To the point where I'm like, oh my God, crazy how I'm like teaching doormat classes every weekend, making so much money with that. So I am grateful to be at another 
um, level with like my money making or my money management because I'm saving so much money now. Like I've never been the type of girl that could save because I always just wanted all the materialistic stuff. But I'm at, to that point where it's just like 30 hit me quick, like a, like a truck just hit me. Like you're 30. All that brand new car, got to be the latest car every two years. All of that stuff is like old to me now. I want to buy a house. I want to, or at least live somewhere where I'm comfortable and it's nice and it's brand new. Like it's updated. Like those are the things that make me happy. If I got to be in my car for the next five years and buy it, then that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Forget all that leasing. I'm not there no more. I'm really not there. So, yeah, that's pretty much my little life update. Um... I miss you guys so much. Like I said, TikTok been killing my views. So nobody sees me on that uh, For You page anymore. So I just was like, let me just go ahead and dedicate myself back to doing YouTube. Because y'all was on my comments. Y'all was being really nice and just like loving on me. And just like listening to my stories. So I'm so grateful for the platform that God has blessed me with. I'm just trying to take it to the next level if that makes sense. So hopefully, I'll be putting out more content every single day or at least two times a week three times a week just trying to get somewhere with it um if you're not following me on instagram i'm gonna put it right here follow me on instagram follow my tiktok subscribe if you are not subscribed i need you all to blow this video up because we are trying to live in black girl luxury you hear me so with that being said i want you guys to drop in the comments what you think i should do just give me some words of encouragement. If you were in a situation like I was, where you were dealing with a man, and you kind of just like, I really just don't want to be in this city no more, but he kind of can't leave, but I want to leave. Like, if you was in that situation and you did it, like, how did it feel once you moved? Did you guys stick it out? Did y'all work it out? Did he come where you were at? How did it work? I really just want to know, like, how I should move, y'all, because Houston is calling my name. Houston is really, really, really calling my name. And I think I really should go for it. Like, so many people just was like, J just go for it. Just go for it. You don't have no kids. You could just go. Like, I wish I could do that. So, you're blessed to be able to go. I'm blessed to have, like, the funds for my business to, you know, fund the move if I needed to move. I'm blessed to have just turned my car in because they asked for it back early. Like, just all these blessings. Like, I feel like... God has already answered my question. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had this car note that was extremely high. And I um I wanted to get out of it so bad. I just kept saying, like, I need to just figure something out. I want to get out this car note. I want to get this car note. And then the pandemic came. And they was like, we need to buy back cars. They came back, bought my car back full price. Like, literally took the whole note off my hands. So, I don't have a car right now. So, I feel like it's the perfect time. Because anybody who know me knows, like, if I move to Houston, there's no way that I'm driving. Absolutely not. So I don't have to lug no car to Houston. I will get a car when I got there. I got the funds saved up to move because my doormat business is banging out. And then like it's nothing to find another job. Like like once again, blessings in the pandemic. I hate that we're in the pandemic, but blessings in the pandemic equals jobs. It's so many jobs. You know what I'm saying? And I'm really not happy with my job right now. Anyway, like what is the odds of that, y'all? I'm really just like leaning towards just going. But then I just don't want to just like uproot myself out of my relationship. Like, but we're not on the best of terms either though, y'all. So it's like, huh? I don't know. I'm so confused. I just don't know what to do. I don't know. <clears throat> I think me. I'm, I think I'm choosing me. And I think I feel and I hope and I pray and I wish upon a freaking star that I make the best decision with whatever I decide because for two years I've dedicated my life into this relationship into his kids into everything um and I think I should choose me this year and I'm not saying it's the end for us of course I would never say that but I definitely just want to choose me put me first and then just figure it all out after that if that makes sense I know I went on a whole nother ramble um after I said that I was going off but if you like this video, like I said before, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you all real soon. Comment down below some video suggestions. If you have any questions, I'll do a Q&A video because I haven't did an updated Q&A. So, yeah, drop some questions down below and I'll do an updated Q&A video for you guys. Um, 
And I'll let you guys know real soon what I decide on. But I think I know what I'm going to do. So hopefully the next time y'all see me, be moving to another city and state. And I'm going to be happy. Because that's all, I swear to God, y'all, that's all I ever hope for is happiness, peace, and just a, 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 an abundance of wealth. Like, I need the money too, y'all. So I'll see you guys real, real soon. Peace.